you know, in metal, there's definitely, lyrically too, um, I think there's a, a tongue-in-cheek mm. kind of joke with the whole thing of death metal, you know, like people ask, like, why would you ever be into a bunch of music about murdering and killing and singing about killing people and stuff? I'm like, well, it has a, the appeal of a horror movie to mm. people, you know what I mean? Like, it's the same reason you watch a, a Friday the 13th movie, mm. you know, and, and cheer for Jason. It's like, uh, you know, going along with the dark side for a while, you know what I mean? Mm. To me, death metal is always told from the, the voice of the villain, you know. So pretty much, you know, the gore of it and the extremity of the violence and stuff, there is a kind of tongue-in-cheek joke there, you know, like how much can I get away with? What can I say that's going to just freak people out and repulse them, you know what I mean? But it's always tongue-in-cheek for me, you know what I mean? You know, I really don't feel like much comes out in modern horror that really is attractive to me, you know, so I just keep looking to the past, really. Um... But, you know, the songs are approached kind of like a a mini story for the most part, you know, like, what can I tell about this creature in three minutes, or, you know what I mean? And it's kind of fun. Um, I always looked at that as kind of like, you know, Tales from the Crypt or something, like a a short, you know, a horror short, just a a quick tale where you get in and out, and, you know, and I enjoy writing for the band. I enjoy horror and um, the shock factor, you know what I mean? Like, trying to shock people still like even though i think that the internet has definitely hardened everybody up you know everybody's seen um poop porn since the yeah. time they're seven now and you know what i mean like it kind of like now we're more aware of all the the crime and the violence in the world because the internet and the news kind of spreads everywhere and, yeah you know the world looks worse than it did you know what i mean now and i feel like that's kind of taking the piss out of death note a little bit the shock yeah. factor of it because people are just numb to all the horrible shit that's going on all the time, so it's really a challenge to write something that's gonna fucking make someone go, yeah, that, well, this guy's a fucking weirdo, you know? But if they thought that about me at some point, then I think I did my job, at least yeah. as far as I can see. Um, man. Um, the first one that's coming to mind, which is actually tied into one of our songs, uh, is a uh, Bio Omega, or you might know it as Beyond the Darkness. It's an um, old gore movie. Uh, I want to say it's from the early 80s, maybe the late 70s. And it's not the best movie plot-wise, you know, kind of as some of those Italian gore movies are, but it's definitely awesome, and it definitely has um, a dude that embalms his girlfriend, like, in his house. He does, like, taxidermy, he has, like, a hobby. And he does it to his girlfriend and like makes her into a doll. Um, just, you know, like we've done a lot of songs that I would say like have a romantic kind of tinge to the lyrics, like uh, someone who's longing for the dead, you know, like romant- you know, being romantic with the dead or longing with the dead. And, um, you know, that really started, I think, with uh, Grave, this band Grave and their album Hating Life when I was a kid that just thought, wow. You know, like, it was the first time I'd seen necrophilia in a song where it had, like, it seemed real because of that kind of love, loss kind of vibe to it and stuff. And, you know, that movie kind of has that same thing, um, Beyond the Darkness, and it's just creepy, real creepy stuff. So I gotta give love to Friday the 13th. I think that was, like, really the earliest um, kind of horror that really turned me on as a young kid. Uh, I had this friend, Mark, and my mom wouldn't let me watch horror movies or anything like that. I used to go to his house, you know, where the rules were different, which was perfect. (laughs) And we used to watch uh, the first couple, Friday the 13th, Halloween, the first one, uh, First Night of the Living Dead, the old black and white one, and a few others, uh, Creepshow, and we used to just watch them all the time. I was obsessed with horror before metal, like when I was a little kid. I was drawing people get their heads, getting their heads cut off with crayon. Like that's how early it started, and uh, you know I had teachers that were like, "Are you is this kid gonna be all right?" You know, but I just liked it, man. I just thought it was cool, and and it led to metal. You know, yeah. like uh, once I got the was in the record store and kind of figured it out. I was like, "Look at this shit! It's got skeletons on it. It's got dragons on it. This is obviously meant for me." You know, but uh, yeah, Friday the Thirteenth and. Um, you know, I do a lot of songs that are kind of first person, you know, as the killer and kind of telling the, the killer's story, you know, so I've definitely thought about Jason and, the, you know, that kind of all-powerful slasher, you know, and uh, I don't know, man, the first eight movies I just thought were great, I still like them, you know, it's just yeah. classic shit for me, but uh, 
I, you know, slashers were really big in the 80s when I was coming up, you know, so I think definitely that. Um, um, I have to say the biggest movie for me would probably be Evil Dead 2. That was one I saw a lot when I was young. You know, I like uh, the kind of comedic aspects, you know, like I don't always like that in horror, but there I think it works. And um, I just like the effects, you know, the possessions and the Book of the Dead and everything. And obviously we have a song about that too. Um, Raped in Hatred by Martins of Thorn from the last record, Everblack. And I kind of, you know, took that scene where uh, the vines were ensnaring the woman that's trying to escape the house. And, you know, they basically like, uh, I made it a little far more gruesome and not my version, you know, there was a, a pregnancy involved and all this other stuff, you know, just totally heinous, but like I said, man, you know, I, sh I just like to be gruesome, I think it's fun, and I like when people come up to me and are like, man, you're fucked up, <laughs> what are you doing? But yeah, it's all my, it's all my personal goal, you know, to, to be horrific and to incorporate horror into what we do, and it's always uh, going to be there, I think.